Hello OG developers, welcome back to the Doing It Is channel. In today's lesson, we are going to create a drop down list. A drop down list which depends on another drop down list. That means a depending drop down list. Uh, for example, if we go to the department section, there is a company's drop down list. Let's assume that this is a drop down list and a branch's drop down list. We should only show the branches that are that are only in this particular company. For example, if it's ABC company, we should only show the branches that are for this company, not for not the every branch that are in the database. So this is what we are going to do today. So let's start by the view and start creating these two drop downs. Yeah, let's go to the departments. We are in the departments. Where is the departments? Actually, this is the module. Let's go to departments and the form. And we, this is the form that we have. We have a company's ID and a branch ID. Branch ID. We are going to change this to drop down list. Drop downs. So yeah. So let's let me copy some of the code uh, so that that we need. I don't want to type it again. So yeah, I'm going to copy a drop down list that I've written before, and I'm going to paste it here. So let's change field names to companies company ID, and let's make this companies find where we don't want a bear class so find every company that is in the system and this has to be company id company id and company name okay so select company so that's that uh, there are a little bit of additional lines here. Let's not con get concerned about that. Let's commit it uh, for now. And let's look at the view file that we get. So refresh. Oh, we have to use those arrays, array helper. So use the helpers, array helper. And of course, we have to use the companies model in the back end. So use backend models companies. Yeah, now let's check it out. Yeah, we get a drop down list of all the companies. Let's get rid of this first text input. And that's that. Now what we have to do is when we select so when we select a particular company what we have to do is we have to send a request to uh, action and say that load load these branches for particular for this uh, uh, for this company so what we are going to do let's check whether we say we are sending a request so to do send a send a request what we have to do is let's let me remove these comments we are going to get the ch on change event on change event is when a com when a user selects a particular company and we are going to send a post request to the index.php work orders not work orders actually we are going to send it to uh, we are going to send it to the branches controller and we are going to create an action called list and to this action list we are going to pass the id of the selected company for example if we select abc we are going to pass the id of that company so the ID of AD, ID of the ABC company is two. So we are going to pass the ID of two or the selected company's ID to this action. We haven't created this action yet, but let's check whether this request is being sent. So let's go and refresh and let's remove this and we have the firebug now. Let's select company. Yeah, we are sending a per sending the request. We are getting a 404 error that is because we haven't created this action yet in the branches controller so let's go ahead and create this action so here's the branch controller and we have this action so again i will copy this particular action function that i written before i have written before and paste it here uh, okay so there are a few things that we have to change First, we are getting the ID that is being passed from here, and we are going. We have to select the branches where the company ID 
I think it's companies company ID so companies company ID equals ID and we are getting the count of it so count branches next we are going to get all the branches for that particular company so again it's the same thing copy this paste and here we don't want the count we want the, the records so all okay so we are getting all the all all the branches for a particular company now next thing is we are going to do is we are going to check whether the count branches is larger than zero if it is larger than zero we are going to loop through this array and create our option tags to show in our show in our drop down so copy this we want the branch we want the branch we want the branch id uh, so branch id and the branch name so if it is the if the count branches is zero then we are going to send an empty option tag yeah. so that's that for this action so the action list is also complete i hope you guys understood oh let me go one more on how this worked out but happened so we are passing the id this value returns this code right here returns the id of this company selected company and we are passing this id to this action list we are getting that and we are filtering the branches according from that company we are getting the count of it and we are getting all the values of it as well we are checking whether this count of the branches is larger than zero if so we are going to loop through the branches and we are going to create our option tags and we are going to echo them out if it isn't zero then we are going to echo out a simple option tag that's that for the action so i hope you guys understood that next is all we have to do is create our our drop down list for the branches so let me copy this again and paste this we don't want an on change event because this does not depend on another i mean another drop down does not depend on this so select branch we have to change this to branches and we have to change this to change this to branch and just to this okay uh, I think that's it uh, oh we have to include this so include the branches model so branches save and let's take a look now let's select company yeah we are sending the post and the ID is equal to 3 so this is the this company's ID is 3 let's see what we got yes we got our option tag the only issue now is we have to populate this branch id so to populate this branch from the results that we get from here we have to assign that id to this particular function so let's so let's get the branch id uh, so let me inspect element so the id of this select element is departments branches branch id so right now what we are doing is we are getting the branches uh, we are calling to the action lists in lists in the branches controller and we are getting the data from here and we are selecting the branch to we are selecting the branch with this code right here and we are saying add this data to that drop down list yes i think this will work now let's check it out and select a branch and yes we got two branches it's working perfectly select another and we got sri lanka only and select another we got a empty list yeah so i think that covers today's lesson i hope you guys enjoyed it uh stay tuned for more Please subscribe, like, and share my tutorials. Uh, please comment off any of the good and the bad of this channel. And have a good day and have fun coding. Bye-bye.